But first, finally, some official confirmation of what we've all known for a very, very long time. US President Joe Biden is completely incompetent. I say that not because he's failed in almost every test since taking over the presidency, and he has, foreign policy, borders, the economy, crime, but because he's also in steep cognitive decline. Today, an official report into Biden's handling of classified documents described him as an elderly man with a poor memory who couldn't even remember details surrounding the death of his son and his term as vice president. Now, his defenders, many of them members of the mainstream US media, will argue those events happened years ago and maybe it's the trauma. Unimaginable to lose a child, it's heartbreaking, of course. But that's not the problem, we know that. That's just the tip of the iceberg. The president himself called a press conference just hours ago to vehemently deny that he's, well, not the whole hog. Take a look. My memory is so bad I let you speak. The hostage negotiation, look. Concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your judgment. Public that is not the judgment concerns. of the press. How can I say this without revealing it? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. And even when referencing Sun Bo, he lost his train of thought. Have a look. There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. Let me tell you something. Some of you have commented, I wear since the day he died, every single day, the rosary he got from Our Lady of... Now, remember, this was a snap media conference to reassure America that he's all OK. He then went on to confuse the president of Egypt with the leader of Mexico. As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. That was today. And if you need any extra evidence or reminding of some of the moments that are defining his presidency, take a look. If you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him uh, foot, foot in, uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with, uh, I don't know. Uh, Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. You're a lion dog face pony soldier. I got them $1.9 trillion. The destruction of this magnificent planet. This conference is one of the most important meetings. Now, why does this matter? He's got a big team around him. America is super powerful and he's got a gun vice in Kamala Harris. <laughs> Poor hubby. Poor hubby. No. <laughs> oh dear. America is barely clinging on to its mantle as leader of the free world. Some argue the United States wouldn't be able to defend itself against an attack from, say, China right now, let alone the rest of us allies. And what about the new axis of evil forming between nations with some pretty damning intentions? We are possibly on the brink of World War III. Look at Iran. There's not one iota of fear or hesitation when it comes to attacking America, because Biden and his weak, he's predictable, He's soft and he is unwell. Remember when he said so confidently that the Iranians would not attack Americans because they knew not to, that he directly told their leaders to back off so no one needed to worry about that. I've already delivered the message to me. They know not to do anything. That was less than two weeks. Less than two weeks after that, three US soldiers were killed and many, many more injured. Now, it's really sad, don't get me wrong. It's not funny, it's sad. It's also terrifying. If Joe Biden was running his own business and didn't want to relinquish power, you'd say, that's his right, and he has to deal with the consequences. 
But when the fate of the free world is at stake and all that we value and hold dear, then for the love of God, someone close to him, Jill, anyone, intervene before it's too late.